Hi everyone, welcome to part 3 of my May vlog. I feel like this is the very first time I have 3 parts to a monthly vlog. I don't know, but recently I feel like I am finally starting to get my motivation back to vlog. Um, as you may or may not know, I have been vlogging up till mid-February and then I stopped because I just couldn't find the motivation to vlog and also to edit videos. But I feel like recently I'm finally getting my motivation back, so here I am. So today is actually the 25th of May and so yes, we are only left with a couple of more days until May is over but I still have a few more interesting things that I want to vlog in May which is why this vlog is here. So um, tomorrow is actually my dad's birthday um, and coincidentally it is also a public holiday so um, tonight I'm heading over to my sister's place and we're gonna bake him a diabetic friendly cake. So for now I want to share with you guys some of the PR packages that I received yesterday and today um, and I also wanted to share with you guys what I am planning to do with these products so you can know what to expect. Um, for my channel in the near future. So the very first package is from Skin Chonsa and you don't know how excited and honored I am to receive their email. Um, if you watch my skincare videos from back in I think 2020 or 2019, I really loved their Centella MP and toner. Um, so when I received their email, I was just super excited to try more of their products. So they allowed me to pick products to try and so yes, I chose all of these products myself based on my skin type so I want to share the products with you guys and basically what's gonna happen is that I am going to change my entire skincare routine to fit all these products in my routine starting from tomorrow onwards or maybe tonight um, and then I'm gonna test them out for the next couple of weeks and then upload a review on them so I feel like this clip is sort of like an accountability clip you know where i tell you guys straight up that i am going to change my skincare routine to include all of these products starting from either tonight or tomorrow morning um, so yeah, let's go through the products that I have chose. Okay, so a huge majority of the products I chose are from the Madagascar Centella range because I loved it. Um, so the first product I have, I'm gonna go by sequence. Uh, the first product I chose is the Light Cleansing Oil. So currently I'm using one from the Face Shop, which I've mentioned somewhere. <laughs> Um, it was sent to me from YesStyle, so I'm using that right now and I wouldn't say that I love it. I feel like it's a little bit too watery and I find that it's a little bit difficult to remove my makeup with it. I'm not sure if it's because it's too light, but yeah, I wouldn't say that I love it. So hopefully this one will be better. I will be using this tonight to get rid of my makeup. Um, and then next, I have the Ampu Foam. Currently for my cleanser, I am using the Etude House Syndrome Whip Cleanser in the morning. And then uh, during the evenings, I just use whatever. I think I'm using just a cleanser that my mom is using. <laughs> So it's probably good to start incorporating this in my routine tonight. Next I got the toning toner that contains 84% of centella and also a lot of other really soothing and hydrating ingredients. It is alcohol free, fragrance free. And then next I got two different types of creams. So one is just called cream and the other one is called um, a soothing cream. The cream seems to be a heavier version. It contains squalene. It also contains some sort of oil. It contains shea butter. Um, whereas for the soothing cream, it doesn't actually contain any oils, but it does contain ceramides. So how I'm going to incorporate these into my routine, obviously I'm going to use this during the daytime and then the cream during the evenings. So the next product is the Hyalucica Blue Serum and the packaging looks completely different, but apparently it's also from the Madagascar Centella range. So main ingredients are hyaluronic acid and centella. The last product is one that I I'm quite scared to use. This is called the Bloody Peel and it's from the Zombie Beauty range. So this is basically an AHA peel. Um, it's a chemical exfoliant so it contains 17% um, of glycolic acid. So that's pretty high. So yeah, I am a little bit scared to use this but I'm excited to try at the same time. Okay, so the next batch of products are from the brand Sand and & Sky and if I'm not wrong, they are an Australian brand. So they are under the 
the same company as Coco and Eve, um, which I've mentioned in my previous vlog. So this time around, I received skincare products from their brand Sen and Sky. I cannot wait to try these products out. I feel like their products give off self-care vibes. Um, so let me introduce the products to you guys. Okay, so first of all, we've got some products from the Australian Pink Clay range. First, we've got the exfoliating treatment and we have also got the face mask. So yeah, that's the reason why I say they feel like self-care products because these are the types of products where you don't use on a daily basis but you only use like maybe once a week during your self-pampering self-care um, sessions. Next, I got two products from the Australian Emu Apple range. So I got a moisturizing mask and also um, a serum which is called the Dreamy Glow Drops. Don't they just sound so appropriate to use like during a self-pampering session? Like I'll probably start with the exfoliating treatment followed by the clay mask followed by the moisturizing mask and then ending things off with the serum. So apart from the products, they also gave me a hairband that says Sen and Sky. Very cute. And also some bamboo cleansing pads which will be really useful when it comes to removing the clay mask. So for these products, I am probably going to start using them this weekend and um, I'm probably going to film a self-care related video featuring these products. I am in my little corner, so I think you know what's that. What is that? Hello everyone, so I'm in my little corner right now, so I'm pretty sure you know what that means. It means that I have just finished filming a video. Um, and I'm super proud of myself because I actually didn't want to film it, but I don't know why. I was very very tired. I only had like four hours of sleep. I feel like sometimes when I'm super tired, I become super productive. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Let me know if you're like that as well because that is really something that I've noticed. And it only happens sometime. I feel like it happened yesterday as well. Um, yesterday I woke up at like 6ish. 6 30 and then i went out for a walk with my mom and then i came back home and i did strength training and i worked the entire day i had meetings and everything and i went out to meet my sister and i only came back home at like one and you know i felt that yesterday was a pretty productive day but i was so tired and today i feel like i'm being productive again again this morning i went out for a walk slash jog and then we went grocery shopping and then came back home and i did strength training and i rest for a little while and then i just went to put on my makeup and do my hair and i finished filming a video super proud of myself so i'm gonna make sure that i rest for the rest of the day because i feel like i'm quite like a workaholic now i <laughs> I just cannot stop working like every time there's a weekend or a public holiday to me I feel like oh like there's a chance for me to like complete my work there's another chance for me to catch up with work um, and I feel like this mindset is crazy and I don't want that so today I'm trying my best to keep my hands off my work laptop and just rest so right now it is 3 30 in the afternoon so i'm only left with like a couple of hours before dinner aka the birthday celebration so i'm probably just gonna be on tiktok and i also want to share with you guys the new misfit protein bar um it is the pb and j flavor um the delivery just arrived so i do want to have one right now so here are my protein boots from misfit first i got the vanilla protein powder because it was always out of stock and I think it's one of their most popular flavors so when I saw that it was in stock I really just wanted to try it um, then I got four boxes of protein bars 
I got the PB&J. I got chocolate caramel, one of my favorite flavors. I got the variety box. And another one of my favorite flavors, the white chocolate salted peanut. So this is where I keep all my protein bars. So I'm just going to do some restocking. PB&J. mostly like PB but I kind of like that there's the J in it as well oh my god I'm so glad I got it <laughs> Hello everyone, today is the 29th of May. As you can see, I have my hair and makeup done. I am about to head out really soon to a hair salon to do a hair treatment which I shared with you guys in my previous vlog. So this is the first time in a very long time I'm going to a salon that is not hair plus Korean salon. I'm gonna film there and so hopefully everything will go well. Uh, I kind of miss hair plus Korean salon. After my hair appointment though, I'm heading to Funan because I want to go take a look at the new BTS pop-up that opened yesterday. Initially, I wanted to wait, you know, until the COVID situation is over, until like nobody wants to go anymore, but I cannot wait. I just keep seeing images popping up on my feed and I just really, really want to go. So hopefully there's not much people. I heard that you need to get a queue number, so hopefully there's still some queue numbers left when I get there. So yeah, I need to head out right now, so I guess I'll see you guys at the salon. Actually, I forgot to take some photos of myself and the I couple you wall. So I requested to go back in, and they allowed me to go back in just to take a photo with the I couple you wall. So if you're worried about you know um, not being able to go in, there's actually not much people, and as usual, I didn't get anything because the space was really small, and to be honest, there's nothing much. Anyway, just trying to vlog in public and telling myself that people are not gonna see me again. <laughs> 